blessings this afternoon i have compiled a list of stories stay with us for all in detail it is very important for you to watch the video throughout its entirety all the way to the end for understanding so in the meantime be reminded that if you are new to the channel and it is your first time over here please i'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude intro soon forward So first, we're going to kick things off in the garden parish of St. Anne and we're at the family member's house of Mr. Kenrick Emmanuel Mignot. He was 62 year old of a Warwick Mount Great Pond address of Ocherius St. Anne. That's the late Kenrick Mignot on your display. Mr. Mignot was a taxi driver vernacular for a PPV operator who plies the route of Great Pond to the town of Ochi Rias. During the pandemic of year 2020, in the parish of St. Anne, also in the town of Ochi Rias, Mr. Mignot was conducting regular business, going about his daily activities as a taxi operator. Upon reaching a section of the Milford Main Road across from the Ochi Rias Primary School, just a stone threw away from the St. Michael's funeral home. Some relics who boarded his vehicle, acting as passengers, held him at gunpoint, in which they took his cell phone, all the cash he had on him at the time, and most of all, they also took his car and then they told him to run. So, Mr. Mignot was left to start all over again because they took everything tangible, but his life was not taken at their first strike. So, fast forward to last night, February 7, at around 7 p.m., in an eastward section of Ochirayas, in a community that is called Great Pond. While in his regular navigation process of transporting passengers, upon reaching a section of the community where the relics would have seen it fit to carry out their cruel act, Mr. Kenrick Mignot was held at gunpoint, robbed of all his personal, tangible belongings once more. He was also taken out of his car and they discharged a few rounds into the body of Mr. Mignot. He picked up quite a few and sadly, he is no longer here with us. Doing further checks, it was also revealed to me that Mr. Mignot was not involved in any altercation whatsoever with anyone. He was a Christian a father of three children two daughters and a son all adults he was a husband happily married he was a real family man i was told mr mignot's son-in-law once got a job for him at a bus company that was responsible for the transportation of hotel staff from the grand bahia principia hotel in mami bay st Anne. He was encouraged to leave the risky job as a taxi operator but sometime last year the bus company lost the contract with the hotel and that was when Mr. Mignot decided to give the taxi business one last try and it led to his sad and unfortunate end. So I just want to send my condolences to the Mignot's family and the extended staff at the Grand Bahia Principe Hotel that would have known this man Mr. Mignot so may his soul find rest and as we turn our focus to kingston we have another habitual runaway teen who is now off the radar the female in question is a 15 year old donny williams otherwise called dundon 
Her static address was Lowell Avenue in Duhaney Park, Kingston 19. And this will be the second time Donny Williams has gone missing just over one month period. Just over one month and she's off the radar again. So obviously she's adhesive to something sweet somewhere out there. And the police on Monday activated another Ananda alert for the habitual runaway teen who distanced herself from January 30. The first time she went missing was just in December last year. She went away for a Merry Christmas and now her family is not having a Happy New Year. Donna Williams is of brown complexion, medium built, is a little thicker, and she's about 152 centimeters, calculation 5 feet tall. The Duhaney Park Police has also confirmed that about 12.30 p.m. on January 30, Donny was last seen at a St. Anne address all the way in St. Anne wearing a pink hoodie or pullover, a blue jeans and a pair of black slippers. GPS has not been able to pinpoint her location since so anyone knowing the whereabouts of Donny Williams is being asked to contact the Duhaney Park Police at 876-933-4280 the, the police 119 emergency number is also available it was down a few days ago but it is now back in operation so you can also um, contact the nearest police station in your vicinity and be mindful of the fact that if you're caught with Donny Williams you will be charged because she's a minor it can also be termed that you're holding her hostage because she cannot give consent on her own and the parish of Saint Anne especially on the north coast from the town of Ocherius down to Discovery Bay and sometimes all the way in Falmouth Trelawney the scammers they have a tendency to influence these inexperienced minors these naive teenage girls lower them in with money promised them money and hype life and then held them hostage in communities like Great Pond in Ocherius. In exchange, another section of Ocherius, a drag saw along the north coast and in sections of Discovery Bay, St. Anne. Discovery Bay is the area in which you will find uh, the Puerto Seco beach. What they do is that they hide these teenage girls inside these guest houses because yes they are underage lock them inside and keep them for sex they drug them they drug them with molly and other date rape drug then they the scammers will then go on the road and buy food for these underage girls they buy underpants and merino for the girls to wear and then three four five six different men taking turns on these underage girls remember she's unconscious because they're under the influence of alcohol and other substances and when they are done with them they then release them back into society destroyed broken and scarred for life so that is what is going on in saint anne and i know for a fact i have spoken to more than one victim there's a scammer in Exchange Ocho Reyes who goes by the name of Reggie. He's one of them. Sometimes he would drove around the town of Ocho Reyes, Tenance Bay, Discovery Bay, St. Mary, and even sometimes in Portland. And they prey on females that are in need, which will sometimes make um, them vulnerable and then take advantage of them. So I will have more details soon. And I'm asking the victims to continue to come forward. And let us read um, the place of creatures like these that are destroying our nation's children. So leave a comment and make your opinion counts down in the comment section. Most importantly, be reminded that if you are new to the channel and it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there, so that way. You'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel, on this channel. And also remember to give this video a like, like always, for YouTube.
algorithm plus sins and more beyond the truth. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.